बस ठीक है सर ऑडिबल सर सर निलेश सर थोड़ी आपकी आवाज कम आ रही ठीक है ओके सर शुरू कराए चो हेलो 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 हाँ सर आ रही है सर आ रही सर शुरू कराए चो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड आफ्टरनून एवरी वन आई राजेश पराते ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स ऑफ सेट केसरीवर पोरवाल कॉलेज कामपी यस सर यस सर पोरवाल कॉलेज कामपी वेलकम्स यू ऑल विद द काइंड परमिशन ऑफ रिस्पेक्टेड प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर एम बी बागड़े we have privilege to organize online webinar the topic of the webinar is role of electronics in healthcare area star shine at night some star shine bright at day daylight it's a great pleasure to welcome such stars and today's resource person dr nilesh d meshram we welcome you sir the essence of great leadership is influence and not authority with this note of our whole heartly welcome our head department of electronics dr ar khobragade sir i heartily welcome all the dignitaries participant and students from the various college who uh, from the various college who attend this webinar the aim of this webinar is to understand the importance of electronics in healthcare area healthcare area to the student i request head of electronics department dr ar khobragade to deliver his introductory speech and give the introduction of today's resource person thank you sir thank you ma good afternoon i dr anil khobragade head and associate professor sk porwal college kamti welcomes you all in the series of webinar for ug and pg student organized by sk porwal college kamti district nagpur respected principal of our college dr mb bagde vice principal dr h1 and madam renu tiwari guest speaker dr nilesh meshram head and associate professor department of electronics shri matra das mohta college nagpur our dear dear participants my teacher colleague मिस्टर पराते एंड राजेश किशोर डोले अदर टीचर कलीग्स डिग्नेटरीज एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एस के पोरवाल कॉलेज ऑर्गेनाइज द वेबिनार ऑन द टॉपिक रोल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इन हेल्थ केयर एरेना द रिसोर्स पर्सन इज डॉक्टर निलेश मेश्राम द टॉपिक इज रिलेटेड विद द फील्ड माइक्रो बायोमेडिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन Biomedical instrumentation is the discipline of engineering and medical medicine. In fact, it is the application of knowledge and technology to solve the problem of living system. It involves diagnosis, treatment, and prevention of disease in humans. Our guest speaker, Dr. Nilesh Mishra, is head and associate professor. Department of Electronics, Sri Muthuradas Mohta College, Science College, Nagpur. He did his PhD in Biomedical Instrumentation. He has published fourteen research paper in international journals. He has presented seventeen papers in international conferences and twenty papers in national conferences. He has got three best paper awards. One of his his paper is published in international conference in Singapore. and the other paper he published presented in the conference international conference in the china he is also selected as one of the member of technical committee scet 18 he is a strong follower of meditation and regular blood donor 
he was he is also a ex lieutenant in ncc of 20 maharashtra battalion nagpur under his guidance department of continuing adult education and extension is not only the, uh, performing the extension activities at every raksha bandhan he visited to vrindava yuddha and performing many activities so i request this speaker sir to deliver his talk nilesh sir thank you thank you sir thank you sir uh, let me uh, thank you the organizers for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to present my talk uh, present my lecture and uh, initially let me thanks dr edi kudragade sir head department of uh, electronics borwal college nagpur uh, for such wonderful uh, introduction and uh, also uh, parade sir is very good colleague of mine and on that note uh, it's it's my pleasure that i have been uh, given this opportunity to present my uh, talk to the students of ug and pg sir okay. the topic is very sensitive which which is which is very dynamic in this pandemic so uh, let me introduce myself uh, and let me share my ppt i guess my ppt is visible to you all yeah is it visible sir okay hello am i audible so the topic Uh, let me introduce myself uh, as a doctor and associate and associate professor department of electronics and today i am going to present my talk on the role of electronics in healthcare okay so uh, actually what is healthcare this is what we have very much experienced in this last four or five months just in this pandemic and the importance of different gadgets that we have been using in day to day life in this uh, in the last Two or three, uh, three months was very extensive. So those uh, instruments actually were related to electronics, and nothing can be imagined without electronics. And that is the crux of this talk today. And I need to just introduce what is electronics and what is the role of electronics in healthcare. Uh, let us start. The outline of my topic will be uh, like I'll be giving you the background information of this uh, electronics in healthcare, the introduction of electronics in healthcare, application of electronics in biomedical instrumentation, and uh, yeah, uh, then uh, we'll be starting with uh, sensors and transducers. This is this is a very important topic as far as electronics is concerned. Then I will be uh, dis uh, discussing about some of the instruments which we. Uh, used in routine that is hearing aid, ECG, EEG, electronic nose and electronic uh, electronic tongue is one of the uh, is some of the instruments which are coming. Then we are having embedded systems, uh, various uh, microcontrollers that are being used in uh, this healthcare systems. Uh, then we are having uh, the IOTs which are coming up in healthcare, and this is very emerging field. Uh, nowadays as far as biomedical instrumentation is concerned then innovations uh, that i will be discussing lastly that the innovations which are coming up which are which is supposed to change the healthcare uh, altogether and lastly we'll conclude with uh, that okay so that was the brief idea of my presentation let me start with this the background of the information what is actually the electronics that that is going to help you in the last era so historically uh, around the la last half century is the replacement of analog instruments by electronic digital instruments right so this is a very uh, biggest uh, change that we have experienced in last half century it was in 1960s that discipline of electronic digital signal processing began to form and two uh, the advantages of this electronic dsp are Uh, these signals can be reproduced exactly, and these signals can be manipulated as well as they can be stored. Today, electronic digital pro signal processing is a major branch of technology. I would uh, like to uh, give emphasis on this that here that we are in uh, foreign India having universities on this uh, biomedical instrumentation. Uh, I request professors to point kindly to them. Uh, Paradesh, I am getting 
Hello. So, what is a health? Health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Karade uh, sir, आपका आवाज आ रहा है सर आप आ रही सर आ रही है नहीं आप म्यूट कर लो आपका आवाज आ रहा है सर हमारा आवाज आ रहा है सर ठीक प्लीज थैंक यू सो व्हाट इज हेल्थ एक्चुअली हेल्थ इज अ स्टेट ऑफ अ कंप्लीट फिजिकल मेंटल एंड सोशल वेलबीइंग एंड नॉट मियरली द एब्सेंस ऑफ डिजीज इन और इनफर्मिटी सो रिमेंबर दिस हेल्थ इज नॉट ओनली द डिजीज और दैट इज नॉट एक्चुअली द से अ ह्यूमन इज नॉट फीलिंग और ही इज हैविंग अ फीवर दैट इज नॉट द कांसेप्ट the concept of health is we should be having a complete state of physical mental or social well being right and that is not merely the absence of disease or infirmity so that is actually the health now what is technology so the branch of knowledge that deals with the creation and use of technical means and their relations with life society and the environment drawing upon such subjects as industrial uh, engineering Applied science and pure sciences, right? So these all uh, are called as the technology that are coming up. And what is now the health technology? The technology which are related to health, right? So it is the prevention and rehabilitation, vaccines, pharmaceuticals and devices, medical and surgical procedures, and the systems within which health is protected and maintained. So those. things come under the air uh, say I order know. of the health I know. right then uh, what is healthcare biomedical instrumentation now the healthcare in biomedical instrumentation is basically the application of knowledge सर आवाज नहीं आ रही म्यूट हो गया शायद so uh, uh sorry the biomedical instrument is i guess uh, you have heard the last uh, slide uh, i have introduced this health health is a state of huh. physical uh, complete physical mental and social well being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity then we have studied the technology that is uh, the branch which deals with the creation and use of technical means right and their interrelations with life society and the environment drawing upon such subjects as industrialist engineering applied science and pure science and this is all is called as the technology then the health is related to technology it is actually the prevention and rehabilitation vaccine vaccines pharmaceuticals and devices medical as well as surgical procedures and the systems within which the health is protected and maintained okay so this all comes under the healthcare technologies so that those technologies we are, which we are using nowadays then what is healthcare biomedical instrumentation the biomedical instrumentation basically is the application of knowledge and the technologies to solve the problems related to related to living biological systems i mean any biological systems which are which are uh, having the uh, knowledge of it and technology in which we Uh, we, we are using it, so that is being utilized. That is being applied to solve those problems, and those are called as the biomedical instruments. It also involves measurement of biological signals like ECG, EMG, or any electrical signals which are generated by human body and human brain. The last one, which is very much related to it, we are using this data. We are expected to diagnose, diagnose, treatment, and prevention of diseases. in humans that this is the base part of the healthcare biomedical instrumentation so that is the application of it now how we are going to use this the areas where we are going to use this healthcare technologies are uh, blood transfusion safety blood products and related biological 
डायग्नोस्टिक इमेजिंग देन डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल सर्जरी लेबोरेटरी सर्विसेज मेडिकल डिवाइसेज एंड इक्विपमेंट ट्रांसप्लांटेशन सर्विसेज वी आर हैविंग मेडिकल रिकॉर्ड विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मेडिकल रिकॉर्ड दैट इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट इन हेल्थ केयर एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इज रिक्वायर्ड इन ईच एंड एवरी फील्ड ऑफ दैट सो दो आर द एरियाज प्रोमिनेंट एरियाज ऑफ हेल्थ केयर नाउ द नीड ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम वी हैव एक्सपीरियंस द situations like we are having accidents where we require uh, on the road side where we require emergency services or emergency health care so there there we require the ambulance with all the electronic gadgets or all the electronic equipments and the doctors which are which are going to be connected to that ambulance van and uh, they are going to uh, say uh, dictate the pre medicine of the patient over there so that is being required health care then uh, transportation then emergency services heart attack these type of services the brain tumors cancers and all so these all are uh, required requires the instrumentation system the biomedical instrumentation system that we uh, are required so these are the healthcare uh, healthcare biomedical instrument what are the basic block diagrams of uh, biomedical instrumentation it requires the analog input that is being supposed to be taken from the human body that is and they are given to the analog filters then the band limited signal according to the signals what signals we are required so those signals are been filtered over here and those signals are given then they are need they need to convert it into digital so that they they can be uh, processed they can be stored easily so these digital signals can be given to the dsps those are digital signal processors uh, microprocessors computers and all and these process signals can again be uh, given to analog signals for recording purpose or say for the data and these signals can be stored so this is the basic block diagram of a biomedical instrumentation now without electronics it not be it not be easy to analyze and visualize data and perform healthcare design and so on so so just uh, see that today in this pandemic also uh, we are not able to visualize a system without electronics so we are we are able to see all the electronics uh, in uh, the pandemic in this pandemic also so because we require a visualized data and uh, to perform the healthcare design and so on electronics is very often used method in a biomedical instrumentation and healthcare research right so electronics is a very important branch of uh, science uh, as far as medical instruments are concerned they are very less efficient for precise diagnosis if there were no electronics in digital ecg analyzers or digital x rays and medical image system so uh, the medical instruments the analog medical instruments that were used earlier was not so efficient today those those instruments which we are having in which we are using embedded systems which we are, in which we are employing uh, computers in which we are uh, em, uh, employing say microprocessors so these electronics is very important nowadays now today we have reached to iot internet of things and all we'll discuss this so the basic instrumentation system consists of this type of a system in which a human body is uh, supposed to be the measurement here we are having some of the energy sources like electric light infrared mechanical ultrasound acoustics these all energy sources are being uh, focused are being uh, given to this body and the resultants are being taken out so uh, they are also taken by the sensors and the transducers which, which require some of the calibration these sensors and transducers actually have a low signal and these signals are then being given to a pre amplifier stage and then they are being uh, processed they are given to a higher amplifier or say human readable format and then they are given to the display devices or output devices which which are in the form of alarm display data storage Uh, data is to be stored then we are having data transmission and data recording data transmission is one of the most important part where we need to uh, telecast the data we, we where we need to communicate the data to the specialists to the experts or doctors from where, where we are supposed to have the treatments from there so this is these are this is the basic uh, building block of biomedical instrumentation which is very essential in the healthcare 
then the applications of electronics in biomedical instrumentation so these are some of the things which are coming up nowadays we are using the mobile phones laptops servers we are using pdas and these are some of the basic things that we are uh, we have to study in our electronics we require this so the basic electronics is very important unless and until we understand the basics of electronics the transistors diodes uh, logic gates and all unless and until we are not going to uh, apply those things in this biomedical instrumentation so this basic electronics we require and this has this has been very well taught in our syllabus so so these are the things which are coming up uh, these are some of the applications then the transducers and the sensors these are the transducers and sensors which are uh, available in the markets which can be used in our day to day life also our the devices that we are using in our uh, homes like temperature sensor the thermometers digital thermometers uh, blood pressure measurement sugar sugar measurement and also uh, we have used the pulse oximeter the pulse oximeter has been extensively used in this pandemic of covid 19 and that that is a simple uh, say simple device temperature then this is a heartbeat sensor uh, color sensor gas sensor ldrs uh, uh, proximity sensor ultrasonic sensors we are having uh, then we are having ir sensors humidity sensors gyroscopes water flow soil moisture these all our sensors can be used to detect the inefficiency or say abnormalities in in the human body right so these transducers are very very essential to understand because the basic and the first important thing of any of the instrumentation is the transducer or a sensor which is the which is the main part of uh, a biomedical instrumentation right so this is these are some of the trans uh, the transducers or sensors which are available in uh, the market easily available in the market this is a simple electronic heart rate sensor for ordino pulse gen pulse sensor this is a kit ordino kit will be we'll discussing this ordino kit and the software of this is freely available on the net i'll also be discussing on that but this is that simple pulse sensor heart rate sensor of uh, which is to be applied to a ordino ordino kit right so this is the pulse sensor so this is this sensor is also there uh, available in the market then uh, we are having the electronic bar sensor so just imagine a very small single chip uh, i'm showing it here on the uh, my on my presentation this is a very small chip and this is actually here having a bar sensor and this is the size of the sensors that we are having nowadays so these bar sensors should have these five components this they should have a biological sensing element a transducer signal conditioner then a data processor signal generator is also there so everything is inbuilt in this a small process right which which we call it as a embedded embedded system uh, where we can program also on in this so these bio sensors are nowadays coming up and they are very important for very as far as uh, say biomedical instrumentation and healthcare system is concerned so these are some of the applications of electronics in biomedical instrumentation we'll study this uh, slightly some of the applications which are hearing aid ecg electronic noise nose and electronic tongue these are these are the instruments which are already available and uh, still it requires more research to get depth into it so yeah we should have some applications of this we we'll study this so hearing aid you have listened a hearing aid those, those person who are uh, So I am not able to uh, say hear the voice properly or clear. Uh, they use this hearing aid. I will show you that that hearing. Uh, sorry. So hearing aid is an electronic sound amplifier. Actually. So earlier it was analog in analog amplifier. Uh, so you might have seen people on stage speak into a microphone and have their voices usually amplified by giant loudspeaker to crowds can hear them. right so this was the basic concept of an amplifier a hearing aid works exactly the same way except the microphone amplifier and loudspeaker it is not having a much bigger size but it is having a very small size i'll show you that and we are having two types of uh, hearing aids one is the analog hearing so this is actually the 
small hearing aid which we uh, try to apply it in, uh, in our uh, on our ears and we are having here a small battery over here in close this is actually the analog hearing aid we are having a small amplifier over here and a small speaker the sound which is directly given to the uh, ear, ear itself directly right so that is being in place and this is the analog hearing aid so the such type of small instruments are available in the market right with a very low cost and actually electronics people have developed such uh, such uh, hearing aids for for those people who are disabled in hearing which which are uh, say which, which are not able to hear voice clearly or loud so this analog uh, instruments analog hearing instruments. similarly we are having digital uh, hearing aid also so this digital hearing aid is similar to that now here we are employing uh, giving the microcontroller based signal processor here we are using the microcontroller in this microcontroller we can have recording also we can have a uh, um, say recording uh, uh, sorry we, we might have memory also memory card over there so that the data can also be recorded at some places uh, in some cases uh, we might have the scope to record the things so uh, those are there so this is actually the digital hearing aid and the earlier one was the analog hearing aid so if you able to see the size of that is being reduced because of a single chip that is being uh, say programmed and accordingly it can be used the memory can also be employed in this microcontroller based uh, digital hearing aid second is the uh, electrocardiograph say ecg we call it as a ecg that is actually the um, uh, say impulses of heart right so the heart so we have we use the electrodes over here at different portions of the body uh, and then uh, we give it to first aid and integrator and all this instrumentation system then we give it to a microcontroller again embedded systems come into play over here now it is an analog system we use the microcontrollers or microprocessor for that so this this is actually the electrocardiographic study it's it is an aim so ecg signals actually those are the ecg signals which which are comes around say 60 to 50 hertz noise voltage which will have a displacement current and uh, we take it in the form of a differential amplifier so that we will have a difference of this voltage is coming out of that and we use it we take this signal by using the electrodes right? so we are not using a sensor or a transducer but we are we are going to use the electrodes over there okay so electrodes are being placed and whatever the data is being uh, used is being taken by that is uh, being Uh, uh, is being given to the differential amplifier. The difference of that is being taken, and then it is being amplified. So this is the basic concept of EEG signal emission. audible so simplified electrocardiographic recording system is uh, there then we are having uh, electroencephalograph that is actually that is but the uh, signals from human brain uh, so recording of electrical signals from the human brain the signal parameters and patterns indicate the health of the brain and eeg is the key area of a biomedical data analysis so as far as human brain is concerned this electroencephalogram is uh, is very important in that so eeg uh, electronics the uh, important role to analyze the eeg uh, hello varad sir ha sir admit karo aapko aap mujhe admit kar rahe ho electronics play important role to analyze the eeg signals right so uh, everywhere you are able to see the electronics over there so electronics are, is everywhere if you see in mobile communication or say in any of the fields electronics is there biomedical instrumentation it is used uh, extensively so these are some of the characteristic waves which are being generated by our brains and these these are being taken by the electrodes 
and in the form of EEG, that is electroencephalogram. So we are having this frequency of uh, alpha that is approximately along uh, around eight to twelve hertz. And in this condition, we have we see that it is actually the resting condition or sitting in relaxed position with eyes closed. Source of generation is from the brain. These are some of the portions of brain where we have this. Then we have beta, 30 to 12 hertz, which we are having a mental thought and activity in where we are expecting the eyes are open. Then gamma, which are greater than 30, conjunctive function, sensory stimulation, local areas of cortex and brain. Then we are having delta, which is very small, that is 2, two to 4 hertz, that is around deep sleep. And theta, where is from 4 is uh, 4 to 8 hertz. That is our So these are some of the characteristics which are important. When we say that a person is uh, psychologically not stable, which means that we are having some uh, problem over here. Right? The waves which are generated by the human brain is greater than say, 20. And it is not, he is not able to sleep properly, he is not relaxed. So that is how meditation is very important for them. So electronics is everywhere. So hertz, this frequency is very important as far as EEG is concerned, electroencephalogram. Then electronic nose. Now electronic nose, just imagine the sense of smell that can be taken by electronic sensor. Sense of smell. So different types of smells can be taken. We know that if, if there is a fire in our house or in our industry or college, then the sensors are there to check that, right? So they sense the smell of uh, the fumes which, which comes out of the fire and they are being used for uh, the further procedure. So this, these, these are actually the electronic modes that we are having. This can, this can smell different types of, uh, different types of, Purposes. Then we are having electronic trunk to taste with a different, uh, say, different taste, right? So as as tongue is there to, to taste, there are some uh, sensors also which are able to sense the uh, organics, inorganics, or soil analysis. Those are all present over there as in the form of electronics. These all are sensors which are related to, uh, say, electronics. MRI. MRI is a most important part which we call it as magnetic, magnetic resonance imaging. Now what is this magnetic image, uh, resonance imaging? Now whenever there is a resonance between the magnets of our body, I will not go in depth. So we are having some protons and neutrons in our cells which, which vibrates at a frequency of say around 63 megahertz, right? When we give the same amount of magnetic field in that uh, frequency, there is a resonance and that resonance has been taken. So that is called as the magnetic resonance imaging. And this has been implemented by using the electronic digital signal processing technology, right? So this is the basic concept of uh, MRI. What is MRI? So we are having hydrogen atom nucleus, that is proton is acting as a micromagnet and human body is full of protons in every organ and tissues, but with different concentrations and different structures. And that is where the magnetic or MRI comes from, right? So that those protons and those vi are vibrating. So these protons are being vibrating at a frequency of say around 63 megahertz, right? And when you give the RF power is sent around 63 megahertz to these protons, there is a resonance between both of them, right? So this resonance is being taken and we take the data whether all the parts are working properly or not. <clears throat> so that is the basic concept of medic, uh, magnetic resonance imaging also, MRI, we call it as MRI. Uh, then uh, we have dialysis. So dialysis also is one of the important uh, field, important portion in biomedical healthcare. So these are some of the dialysis uh, instrument which functions in the form of uh, say lungs which work for lungs and which which are able to pure the blood uh, or give oxygen rich blood to the heart. So dialysis is also important. So uh, in, say those persons who, who have uh, lungs defect, they have to go for dialysis uh, monthly for two or three times in a month, right? 
so this is dialysis and artificial ventilators now in this covid 19 pandemic we are people having a shortage of ventilators so can we imagine the artificial ventilators or can we build some ventilators at our home okay so these are some of the things which are which are very important uh, uh, which are very important okay uh, am i audible now hello so th these are artificial uh, ventilators am i audible hello yes, yes sir yes sir Thank you. Thank you. So artificial ventilators are uh, there. So these uh, ventilators are very important in this COVID pandemic, and you, you might have there was less number of or uh, shortage of ventilators, beds as well as ventilators. So these ventilators are very important as far as COVID nineteen pandemic is concerned. The, some of the wearable electronics uh, in healthcare application these are coming up nowadays. We are using this. Extensively, everybody, uh, one man or the other, will be able to see that he is using the gadgets on his on his arms. So these watches are actually specially designed uh, and using embedded microprocessor, microcontroller systems, and they are being monitoring our health. They are monitoring our monitoring our steps, oxygen level, heart rate, blood pressure. Even in some cases, we are uh, are experiencing the the say notation of uh, blood sugar and all so these variable in uh, electronics uh, are also nowadays coming up in our world so variable variables are small electronic devices often consisting of one or more sensors and having computational capability they play an important role in healthcare monitoring analyzing and even healing so these are some of the gadgets which are coming up we are having eye glasses hgi headset computers then smart watches health bracelets then clip on sensors and all and they are connected to mobile so you know, one of the devices in my hand also so we are having this so we are using this for healthcare i guess my uh, watch is being uh, visible to you so i am using that watch so these are all wearable electronics devices so in in india we are not we are not developing those devices so these are wearable monitoring devices which are going to uh, say renovate say having a revolution around the world in the healthcare industry so we are having bp measurement even temperature sometimes and everything is being measured over there in this wearable uh, devices okay so these are some of the companies which are manufacturing those and these are some of the wearable electronics that are being extensively used those are hand pump those smart watches or wrist wear finger wear we are having finger wear also then we are having head worn like smart glasses hmd hud which which are uh, say manufactured by google and optiven these are some of the industries which are manufacturing then body worn like smart textile wearable patches foot and arm wear so these all electronic wearable uh, devices are being used if you go or if you google it you will be able to find the images of the, those things so those all are wearable electronics and I, and just uh, believe me that electronics is playing a wonderful role in uh, say implementing those devices because we need to understand the basics of electronics unless and until we understand those basics we are not going to apply those things uh, as far as electronics uh, basics and uh, electronics are concerned we also are, should be able to know the uh, actual uh, say knowledge of what actually we are expecting to take from the body so those input data is also very important and accordingly we can develop our sensors and transducers and we can design some instrumentation like this the one of the basic important field is the embedded system now this is a very emerging uh, field of, uh, known as embedded systems and i will be talking extensively on this and this is actually i expect the students of electronics should take as a career so an embedded system is nothing but a microprocessor based computer hardware system with software that is designed to perform a dedicated function either as an independent system or as a part of a large system so we are having a small microprocessor or a microcontroller in that case that are being 
programmed accordingly for a particular specific purpose right and it can be used so this this programming of a microprocessor microcontroller or a microprocessor is called as an embedded systems right uh, our one of our colleagues and uh, say my guru uh, say abhay deshpande sir is, is now doing extensive work in embedded system has a good hand and he has developed many of the instrumentation system by using this embedded one of the system we we are we were also working on that so actually i was working uh, on a uh, tooth say orthodontic tooth so we, we have tried to make a device by using this embedded system and microcontroller programming to increase the speed up the movement of the tooth we call it as in dentist language we call it as the orthodontic right so the speedy movement of orthodontic tooth can be achieved by using this embedded systems also this is actually uh, the programming of that at the core is an integrated circuit which is designed to carry out computation for real time operation remember this these things so we can design we can uh, program those devices those sort of devices then uh, embedded systems in which various microcontrollers that being extensively used we are having arduino i have already told you we discussed these things then we are atmel avr atx mega at sorry uh 328 bic 8051 this microcontroller we are teaching it in our syllabus in semester 6 then arduino arm these all are microcontrollers which can be programmed and which can be used for say the healthcare so uh, the next one is arduino peripherals right so this is a simplest microcontroller say arrangement where we are having uh, everything in built inside it right so we are having a using usb interface we are having a crystal reset button now this is very uh, easily available and the cost of this whole kit is not more than 300 rupees in the market so you can purchase it sorry you can interface it with the microprocessor with the laptop you can program it for your say study purpose so we are having this arduino kit over there and uh, this uh, programs of arduino kit is readily available on uh, this tinker cat software so the, this is actually the simulation where we are we will be having all types of programs softwares available for that i have i have shown you a small heart rate uh, sensor initially in the, in my initial slides so that sensor can be interfaced with the arduino kit and the software which is concerned to this is being available on this tinker cat software so just go through that tinker cat uh, simulation software you will be having n number of n number of programs softwares already designed over there just copy it feed it in this arduino and use it right so you can develop your own instrumentation system at your home right and that too costing not much money on that, right so this is one of the uh, arduino then this, these are some of the things which are readily available on say the tinker cat which i have told you that is uh, some circuits that can be designed on that so we are, we are having this moment of servo that is the motor over there then lcd uh, connection of lcd hello? then we are having hello uh, oh, then digital and analog inputs that we can interface we can have sensor leds and all we can uh, interface ultrasonics over there so these are all available on uh, the tinker cat there are n number of applications which are readily available on google also so just google it and see it so we are having software which can we can study on this and these are basically related to electronic assets so the basic components you are expected to know you should know leds you should know the switches you should know the buzzer and you should know the sensors what is ultrasonic what is led what is the lm35 ic lm35 ic is for temperature sensor so that can be used that can be interfaced with this arduino kit and can be uh, used for the purpose right so arduino is one of the important part Uh, of embedded system than raspberry pi raspberry raspberry pi 3 is a uh, uh, actually is nothing but uh, as good as a computer mini computer so
so we can interface it with a keyboard we can have a desktop we can have a screen over there we can inter attach a screen over there and everything we can do over there so uh, we are having this i guess my sound is loud and clear hello am i audible yes just keep me updating thank you so raspberry pi i was talking about raspberry pi so raspberry pi is nothing but a car, credit card set single board cpu it is costing around 3000 or 5000 4000 rupees and this is being developed in uk by raspberry pi foundation in 2009 and the concept behind this uh, say developing this kit is only to study for the students so the students can easily study different types of programming over there and that was the main aim of developing this type of a kit so the this kit was to promote the study of basic computer science students in schools and colleges to develop interest among the kids and adults so raspberry pi is one of the most important embedded system software or uh, kit hardware kit which can be used now what is raspberry pi is having just look at this it is having usb ports four usb ports you can connect it to lan that so you can connect it to internet directly then you are having audio and video adapters over there you can put a camera csi camera port you can attach a camera hdmi cable it can also be uh, attached to it then you are having a micro usb power right then uh, we can have a dsi display port so this can be connected to a screen right as we are having a laptop and we are having a screen and we are having a desktop and we are having a screen so you can attach it to a screen also then it is having a bluetooth interface also it is a, having a small uh, microprocessor over here so just imagine it is it is having everything in built inside this is being extensively used in foreign for student by the students right so we are having these things available in the market but unfortunately we are not using it we are not knowing this we are we are having the softwares are readily available over there and the softwares which are being provided by uh, for the raspberry pi 3 are from uh, say python c java ruby perl these are some of the pro softwares which can be used over there by raspberry pi then the platforms uh, which can be used okay uh, i guess i have is that the next one is the iot's that is the internet of things in healthcare now this is very emerging field and which has a, which has having a broad prospectus as far as electronics is concerned so iot internet of things that is nothing but the the say the data which is already readily available in the on the internet or on the clouds and that can be used for the further diagnosis purposes so just imagine like uh, i am sitting over here i am sitting at my workplace and i am able to use the internet and switch on or off uh, the refrigerator fridge or tv at my home at my uh, home by just remotely connecting it to uh, say the internet so that is called as internet of things in that so we can uh, do everything over there as so this uh, gif is showing you over here this uh, animation is showing you that we can connect internet to any of the things and we can use it now this internet of things is having a uh, very extensive use in healthcare now healthcare a system of interrelated computing devices mechanical and digital machines provided with unique identifiers which we call it as uids and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction now the data is being directly transferred by the computer itself right so we are we are directly taking the data there is no intervention of human beings over there and this is called as a system which is connected to internet and is accessible addressable accessible and actionable all the three are present over there right not just imagine how we are using this iot so can you predict the chances of a second heart attack if you if you uh, say if you, if you can predict so that is because of you can predict the the heart attack by using the data the history which is present over there so according to that history in on the internet we can use it for a uh, person which is supposed to have the second attack so what are the symptoms that uh, might cause the second heart attack that is the main uh, 
uh, aim of that, right? So that is being used over there. Oh, so that things can be used by the uh, used from the internet and can be uh, used for uh, the prediction of some of the casualties, right? So that is called as that is the basic application of these IOTs and. They, those are coming nowadays very extensively. Those are being used over there, right? So, IOTs in, in infrastructures, uh, all, all the things which are there uh, are free of cost. So, the infrastructure that has been provided by Amazon, Web Services, Wind River, Intel IoT Gateway, Cisco, Google Self Driving Car, and Nest. So, these are some of the infrastructure which is readily available on internet free of cost, which we can use it for say the diagnosis purposes. So these are some of the infrastructure which are available. Then IoT servers like things, speak.com, Amazon Web Services, Firebase, datasparkfund.com, IBM Bluemix. So these are servers which we can use. So again, we, we are not expected to pay money for that. So they, those, are, those, those are very uh, easily available on that. Okay. So, Right, so these are all IoT related things. Then the more emerging field is the machine learning. Machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence. Now AI is AI, that is artificial intelligence is coming up. Why? Because now every time we need to think over that as humans think. So decisions accordingly. So what we have to do is we have to uh, give a plenty of such instances where we have taken some decisions, right? So accordingly, if, if that part is understood by a machine, that part is understood by a, uh, by a computer, then we call it as a machine learning. So we have to teach the machines how to take decisions. So machine lear learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence. It provides machines the ability to learn automatically and improve from experiences without being explicitly programmed. So without programming it, we are giving some instances of that. As I told you, that can be predict a second heart attack. So depending on the instances, depending on the history, uh, I mean, uh, the computers are given some instances and accordingly, the machines or the computers are expected to take the decisions, right? So that is the main aim of AI, artificial intelligence. The goal of machine learning generally is to understand the structure of data and fit that data into models that can be understood and utilized by the people. Although machine learning is a field within computer science itself. So these are related to computer science, but still it is very emerging and it is very common. Now, why to use machine learning? Because machine learning quickly and automatically produces modules that can analyze bigger or more complex data, deliver faster, more accurate results even on a very large scale. Even the humans have to think of for certain things uh, in certain situations. But as far as machines are concerned, they are they are so fast that they can take decisions in a in in say fraction of seconds. So machine learning facilitates computers in building models from samples data in order to automate decision making processes based on data inputs. So as I told you, the decision making concept is being uh, taught to the machines or uh, the computers, right? So these are very emerging fields and these are some of the real time examples of for say uh, artificial intelligence. Even in healthcare also, machine learning is doing fabulous job. Researchers and scientists have, have prepared models to train mach machines for detecting cancers just by looking at slide cell images. So just by looking at the cell images, they can uh, say detect the cancers. So this is the model which is being designed by the researchers and scientists uh, by using the machine language or artificial intelligence. For humans to perform this task, it would have taken a lot of time. But now more, more, no more delay machines predict the chances of having or not having cancer with some accuracy and doctors just have to give an assurance call, that's it. So the machines are now are capable of giving the decisions of that, whether the cancer is there or not, whether it is going to happen or not, whether, whether the, there is a prediction of cancer or not, this can be think, thought of, right? The answer to 
how there is this possible is very simple all that is required is a high computation machine a large amount of good quality image data memory um, machine lear learning model with good algorithms to achieve state of the art results so these are some of the things which are very essential or required to for the machines actually the history is very important or the initial data through which it is going to learn it is, through which it is expected to give the decisions so doctors are using uh, machine language even to diagnose patients based on different parameters under consideration so those those parameters are being fed in the machines actually when we go to a doctor the doctor just ask you what is happening what what is uh, the say problem and as you go on telling him the problem he starts thinking and he thinks of what what would be the problem and accordingly he prescribes you the medicine right so so similar condition is uh, similar situation is given to the computers and the machines are expected to uh, machines are expected to give the decisions on that so these are some of the machine learning applications we are having it in healthcare digital marketing spam detector uh, search engine google translator traffic alert social media and all spam detector is one of that uh, if you have any irrelevant uh, mails at your mail id then what it happens it goes in spam what is that actually there are some words which which uh, the machine is not able to uh, recover and which it imagines which it th thinks like it is not proper for a person to have a mail like that so what it does it pushes that mail not into not to your inbox but to but to your spam folder right where we, you can go so the spam detector is also one of the portion of machine learning right these are some of the application now the scopes of electronics and biomedical instrumentation so uh, yeah okay so these are some of the companies which are extensively manufacturing electronic biomedical instrumentations which are being used extensively uh, in pandemic also and i will discuss lastly some of the uh, innovations that are going to change the healthcare and medicine in coming years right and these are i will just push it to you just imagine and think over it that can we be some of the person some of the researchers or scientists which we, we can develop those things in our india so this is one of them that is the drone delivered medical supplies so now just imagine a drone is going to supply you the medicines at your home right so without having any say Uh, we, we, with uh, with having a social distance and distancing uh, with a person we can uh, deliver medicines also right so that can be given by drone delivered medical supplies and the, those are being operated by gps so just you uh, give your address as you give it orders to swiggy and zomato accordingly the man reaches to your home by seeing the gps right similarly we can have a gps operated drones which are supposed to deliver the medicines at your home so these are going these are some of the innovations and which a person can think of right so this are this is one then the other one is the biggest big data so the data is having of around 7.5 billion humans and 10 of millions of us track our health with wearables like smart watches as well as with more traditional devices like blood pressure monitors and others so this data is being stored now nowadays you, you see that uh, the wearables the, those are watches and all are being connected to the mobile phones that data is being put on your mails right so the, those are being attached to your mail so these data can be this data of human body which are which we are connecting it with your wearables can be used extensively so those those datas are there and uh, if you if you are able to aggregate all the data from even a few million of us and make it all anonymous but searchable medical researchers would have a powerful tool for drug development lifestyle studies and more so this is one of the very good innovations as far as healthcare is concerned then the other one is a stem cell cure for diabetes so diabetes actually uh, the uh, one third of a population is facing diabetes nowadays small children are also having diabetes right so these diabetes can be cured by using the stem cells 
so stem cells are coming up over there and they are being uh, used in say developed in harvard biologist doug milton's attention and these are some of the innovations which are coming up and which are going to say revolution nice the uh, whole 2020s the more diverse uh, global biobank biobank means a major limitation threatens to hamper the era of personalized medicine people of uh, caucasian descent are in our uh, minority in global po global population get make up nearly 80% of the subjects in human genome research creating blind spots in drug research so uh, we, we might have a biobank where we can have papers where we can have the data where we can have medicines uh, being transferred so we can have a biobank where we can have a blood we can have say stem cells we can have anything so those banks as we are having our money banks similarly we might have uh, the healthcare banks also like the another innovation says uh, the disruptive approach to cancer research one of the original disrupts of new economy is bringing is this approach to medical research that is the parker institute for Ca cancer immunotherapy established by napster co-founder and former facebook president sean parker is a network of top institutions including memorial sloan catering stanford the md anderson cancer center and more its goal is to identify and remove obstacles to innovations in traditional research right so research is very important as far as innovations are concerned then wristband that can read your mind so now the wristband the, that those are watches or say the wearables now are able to measure your heart rate blood pressure sugar everything temperature and all and keep the data now the wristbands which are being designed to read your mind so is it possible for them to read your mind by using a wristband okay so that those are coming up and then the ultrasound in your packet so we go for ultrasound uh, uh, as far as say pregnant women are concerned so we go for those so those those can be uh, inbuilt inside your mobile phones itself so th those are the innovations that we have the cancer diagnosis artificial intelligence again ai machine learning comes into play so we can develop some modules accordingly to uh, teach the machines to sense the cancer then we are having science paper research papers this research can be uh, say transmitted or communicated to all of the world so that what exactly is going on in the healthcare uh, arena can be visualized and can be viewed right so that that is the most important portion where the researchers and scientists are working on so that the developments and improvements uh, say improvisations are being understood by the scientists and researchers the walmartification of healthcare now the medicines and say the surgicals and all types of medical equipments can be available under one that can be done by using the walmartification of healthcare right so all types of uh, things all type of uh, say biomedical instrumentation related uh, instruments can be available in under one roof and that can be developed that is developing nowadays medicines and all then we are having 3d digital hearts <coughs> as our hearts are there so we can uh, Im imagine say take the images of our heart in the form of 3d as a person can be viewed so 3d digital hearts and uh, lastly i will conclude that electronics is the basic heart of the biomedical instrumentation and without electronics it not would it not be convenient to, for doctors as well as uh, the other specialists or experts to give the proper treatment to patients unless and until they have the results so results would be uncertain without electronics efficiency of medical electro instruments is enhanced by using the electronics or digital signal processing in this pandemic of covid-19 it is very useful the useful the electronics based devices to maintain social distancing as well as taking precautions accordingly to measure your oxygen level to measure your pulse rate and check whether you are uh, strong you are fit or not right so electronics is playing a vital role as far as healthcare is concerned uh, and I, i on behalf of the electronics fraternity i would request all 
the students which are uh, say present over here to take it very very seriously that electronics can be viewed as one of the strongest portion of science where we can have the instruments where we can develop our own instrumentation system for the basics of uh, say mankind for the development of mankind or for the healthcare systems so this was uh, actually expected from your coming generations of the students uh, who can have uh, a this biomedical instrumentation as one of as the career in in their life right so these are some of the topics which i need to discuss and ultimately uh, lastly i would like to thank all the participants who have uh, present here and i would like to thanks uh, the organizers especially uh, respected uh, dr edi kobra gade sir head uh, head and associate professor department of electronics of purwal college and uh, my colleague parate uh, sir uh, rajesh parate sir sorry rajesh parate sir and all the uh, faculties who had directly and indirectly uh, was say i mean uh, uh, responsible for this seminar so thank you thank you very much and i give it back to parate sir thank you sir parate sir yeah sir yeah sir thank uh, you thank you sir i am stopping sir thanks thank you sir participant if participant has the any query then they can ask the sir yeah, yeah. so the participant has the any query then they can ask to the sir yes yes sir yeah sir has explained very well the role of electronics in the healthcare area sir explain the concept of basic instrumentation system uh, sir has suggested the various applications of the electronics in biomedical instrumentation sir gives an idea very well about the electronic sensors and transducer sir told the role of the wearable electronics in a healthcare application sir has covered all the advanced topics of the electronics such as the uh, iot machine learning and use of all these things how they are used in the biomedical instrumentation uh, very well thank you thank you sir now the last stage of the webinar is to move towards the vote of thanks so we move towards that the session good afternoon to uh, everyone to one and all present here honorable principals of our college dr m b bagde respected dr a r khubragade sir head of department of electronics said kesrimal porwal college kam kamti our most valued resource person dr nilesh meshram sir webinar organizer committee and all the participant it is such an honor for me to get the opportunity to thank you all dignitaries on the behalf of the electronics department said kesrimal porwal college of art and science and commerce kamti i express my gratitude to our honorable principal dr m b bagde sir for his all kind of support for organizing this webinar on virtual platform i extend my gratitude to uh, dr a r khubragade head department of electronics to organize webinar even amidst this in this pandemic i must maintain our deep sense of appreciation for dr nilesh mishram for his explanation on the role of electronics in healthcare area i would like to express our sincere thank to dr nilesh mishram for giving an excellent coverage to the webinar topic in his discussion i must thanks to the organizing team for working hard from the past few days to make this the webinar successful i must thank last but not least all the participant for their active participations and the contribution to make this the webinar a great success now with the kind permission of organizer i declare that this webinar is ending here thank you thank, thank you, you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much thank you sir thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.